Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about another attributes of the event shortcode, that's the featured. So this featured attribute is really versatile and you can use it in three ways to display or like uh, control your event listings over here in the event listings page. Okay. So I'm gonna like give you an interactive demonstration with the attribute over here. So let's copy this attribute uh, to our page over here and I'm gonna show you all the possible values that you can uh, like enter for the featured and what uh, like functionalities we can expect out of it, okay? So featured expects a boolean value, so either true or false, right? So first we're gonna set it to true, okay? And update our page. And we can open our event dashboard in a new tab as well. So over here, you will see like what events are featured and what events are not. How you can identify that, I'll tell you. So over here, you see the star mark in the event dashboard. So whatever stars are filled over here, that means those events are featured. Okay. So since we set it to true, let's update this page and let's reload. We will see that only three feature events from the dashboard over here are now being listed on the event listing page. Okay, pretty simple. So featured is equal to true means this page over here will only show featured event in the website. Okay, how you can make one uh, like event featured, that's a topic for another video. But uh, like this is focused on the featured attribute. So what happens if I set it to false? Let's update. And before reloading the page, I'm gonna go to the event uh, dashboard and you will see all of the non-filled star, so non-featured events, now we will get uh, displayed over here except these three events okay so only the non-featured events so let's load so right here you see the six non-featured events are being showed but not the featured events over here so you can control the listing uh, with featured and non-featured events using the featured tag okay so these are the possible two values but there's one more way to uh, like facilitate the feature uh, attribute okay how just remove the feature attribute click on update now it will not like filter out or like uh, short events using the filter attribute okay so it will show all, all events that's been listed in the website okay so let's click load more and load more again so we will have like nine events over here instead of six like just we saw like right before so that's how it work you use future tag or like the attribute to uh, either display the featured event on the event listing page or the non-featured event in the uh, event listing page or you can remove the feature tag or the attribute like overall to not show or like not uh, facilitate the featured uh, functionality over here in the uh, event listing page so if you remove it don't worry all the events will show up and if you set it to true only the featured event if you set it to false only the non-featured event that's how simple it is and how easy to control i hope you found this video somewhat helpful if you did leave a like leave a comment share this video with your friends all that good stuff and come join me in our next video where we will talk about the cancelled attribute until next time i'm shara saying goodbye thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.